Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. As always, if it's the first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers we get, the more it encourages me to keep coming up with fresh content. So today we've got the Skywatcher EQ3 Polar Scope and the Skywatcher 90 degree Polar Scope eyepiece. Uh, I'll show you how to connect it, uh, what it's useful for and, and a couple of things to watch out for when, when fitting. Now with the EQ3 and same with the EQ5 and uh, while I'm on with that to uh, just go through the list of mounts that, that uh, this is compatible with or, or finder scopes, um, polar scopes that it's compatible with, the Skywatcher EQ3, EQ5, AZ EQ5, H EQ5, EQ6, AZ EQ6, the, the Adventurer, the, including the Wi-Fi, and the Adventurer Mini. Uh, I have also tested it on a Celestron CG3-AVX um, polar scope and, and that fits fine. So looking at the, the polar scope here, on, you've got your little focus wheel there, which you've probably already done, which um, focuses on the engraving on the inside. And this is the 90 degree polar scope um, um, angled eyepiece, 90 degrees, that, that you can get as a separate item and is a, currently available to purchase from the link below if you want to support our channel. Uh, when you take it out of the box, these three screws here will be screwed in a bit more, but what I've already done is I've unscrewed them so they're nice and flush on the inside so we can now place it over the polar scope. But be careful when you take these out, you know, because if you pull them out a little bit too far they, they struggle to connect with the thread when you put it back on again. But but also, uh, if you drop one of these little things on the, on the floor, if it's uh, anything like my floor, if you, if you drop a small screw or something, it's like there's a, a porthole there to another dimension and you never find things again, so be careful you don't lose these. So, what I'm going to do if we'll, for sake of argument, we'll say that's the right way up. We can then slide it on and screw these in. And that is now connected. And so it, even so if you stood up, you would have it like so. But if you're sat down observing, you can quite easily move it to one side. So if you're sat on a chair doing your polar alignment, not a problem. It comes with uh, a nice eye, eye cup there that does fold down and what I like about it, I don't know if you found that without this attached, um, it's, it's the uh, the polar scope, it, it is quite long eye relief and it's, um, especially in the dark, um, a bit awkward trying to get the correct distance of your eye away from it. Whereas this, the eye cup makes your eye, you know, what? 10 15 millimeters away from the eyepiece, and it's, it just seems much more comfortable viewing. And uh, to answer a question to one of my previous videos, the image is still upside down, and um, left right orientation is, is opposite. For a closer look at the engraving, there's a one times here and a two times, and it, it's not like a zoom, it just it flip, flips a mirror inside or lens inside and it goes from one to two times so you can look at the engraving in the center a little bit uh, closer. One thing I found oh, and this, this is the focus as well if you want to get accurate focus on, on the engraving in the polyscope but one, one thing I found is especially on the right hand side and I've tried a few of these you, you can't you don't get the full view um, regardless that you would normally get but, but you can still see all the engraving. But, but what I found was, just remove this a second, when you're normally using this on its own, it's probably out about there, um, quite a few turns out for you to get focus on the engraving on the inside of the eyepiece. And then when you put this on, there's a part on the right hand side of view that you can't quite see, it's nearly there. And so what I found was, just, just screw it all in, all the way in, and now that will be way out of focus. But then just turn out maybe two or three 
turns not the, not the full amount and by all means experiment with this and then when you put this in obviously it's going to be way out of focus so then you'll adjust the focus nearly all the way out and by doing it that way by you get more of the engraving in the same field of view so screw that in f further than you would have normally before you put this on so it will send it out of focus and then put the 90 degree uh, eyepiece on and focus instead of there because you won't be able to get to it here instead and, and experiment yeah, with, with the two whichever uh, suits you best um, so that, that's it that's a quick look at the uh, Skywatcher uh, well a second look actually at the uh, Skywatcher 90 degree eyepiece for the range of polar scopes and as mentioned uh, they, they do accept at least one Celestron other polar scope that I know of. So I hope that helps as always. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out the link in the description below.